In Australia we actually do have enough doctors, it's just that they're not in the right places. So we don't talk about a shortage, we talk about a maldistribution. Rural clinical schools exist to try and build the rural workforce. So what we're about is trying to expose our students to the realities of life as a rural doctor and hopefully through that encourage people to consider seriously going back and working in rural areas after they've graduated. Can you imagine how difficult it is in that kind of scenario to keep track of what's happened if you're trying to do it afterwards? So I did the full year at Yurubadala in 2016 and it was a fantastic experience for gaining some insight into rural practice and how a rural hospital works. I think it prepared me for having an understanding about the unique challenges that rural uh, populations face. I was one of the first two students to come down to Bega. The reason I'm back here is largely because it was a very positive experience. Uh, coming to Bega, you feel like you're part of the team in the hospital. Everyone gets to know you. They get you involved in things that are going on. And so you get to see more, you get to do more than you do when you're in a metropolitan centre. Whereas with Hashimoto's, that's been going on for a long time. We get destruction of the follicles. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I think one of the biggest advantages is that you know everybody. I think you see people in the, in the clinic, you see people in the hospital, and then you see them at the coals, you see them at the woolies. And I love that sense of community. I think it gives the students a bit more of a feel of what pressures these farmers are under. If they're in casualty on Sunday afternoon and some farmer turns up with a wriggling finger in a bag, you know, um, they, they have a bit of more of a, a feeling for what these guys have actually gone through and the pressures they're under in their business. The fact that we've got such a broad range of specialists in rural areas and they really seem to love their work down here, that's really motivating to get people back to rural areas once they've graduated. This scenario, looking back at what you did, you hopefully have that trigger to think about um, oxygen right at the start. Right. Okay. It's good to see that they do come back and it, it means a lot for us. You know, we need doctors, and the more doctors we can get here, the more specialists, and that sort of thing. It, it helps our community out. Of the students who spend a year in a rural site, by the time they get to six years post-graduation and beyond, it's 35% or more who are still working outside the cities. I wanted to see if, if working rurally would be something for me and I think from this year it has so I will look to go and work rurally and remote in the future. Yeah we just have found it's a really great community to live and work in down here.